Hello, welcome and namaste. Let's talk about how you can use Miro to build your product roadmap. So step number one, gather all your ideas and Miro allow you to create a sticky note and collect everything you're thinking about, all the features. So in this example, I'm talking about a testimonial website and this is just an example of uh, how you can start building a list of ideas. Then you drag them together or change the color to indicate similar ideas and group them together. Once you're done, the next step is to prioritize them. There are multiple ways you could do that. Number one is impact metrics where you list the ideas based on their impact um, on the product, on the users, on the main problem you're trying to solve and then how much effort it will take. Based on that, you could pick some of the low hanging fruit and some of the resource intensive, but more impactful features. Then there's Moscow feature, which we use a lot, where you identify features that are must have, that are solving your core problem. There are one, two, three max features that you want to include in your MVP and um, those are the must have and you have should have could have won't have that you can plan for the future and there is a rice metrics um, framework that you could use where you go with reach impact confidence and effort you do a combination of this which give you a score so there are multiple ways you can prioritize once you have all the feature prioritized you pick the top two three features and then you get deeper into creating a roadmap. In this case, let's say feature number one, and then there are stories and tasks that you start planning against your timeline. There is another way where, which you could use. It's more intensive, extensive, where you can plan these features with much more granular detail. But to keep it simple, this served the purpose for most of the use cases where you have a very high level timeline showing you the roadmap, showing you the plan. And then if you're using a scrum or some agile method, you can have a more detail week by week and by weekly planning. These roadmaps meant to be <clears throat> adjusted every at least every two weeks so as you go forward you make adjustment based on everything that is going on so i hope this is helpful to you and we'll see you in the next video